Oh, God, yes. We can talk about that, Woody. Oh, my God. So okay. my case manager in prison, this is the guy who's responsible for, like, <clears throat> handling, uh, he, like, schedules me if I want to take classes or if I want to take certain drug programs or whatever, all kind of nonsense. And he also handles my paperwork, which is very important for me because I want to leave prison. Yeah. And he's the one scheduling, like, uh, you know, oh, so this is the person who's going to be picking you up. This is your address where you'll be like going home to. Okay. And he's like getting all that data, you know, my personal information, name and numbers and yeah. such. And that he's sending that to my probation officer so that everything is set and the ball is already rolling on release day. And it's supposed to be like that. The man is dyslexic. Mm. And mm. I don't mean that as some sort of like, yeah, he's retarded. No, the man has dyslexia. <laughs> all right. He, Fucked my paperwork up so many times. It was scary by the end. Like like the first time, I, I don't know how many times we redid the paperwork. It's at least six. It might be eight. <laughs> I, I, and this is simple paperwork. It's you name and address. Months. Yeah. Yeah. Once a week, he was fucking it up. <laughs> Once a week. <laughs> he did it three times while I sat there and watched him. Dude, he sounds like, like, like a retard. <laughs> like, 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 like he went to college. He had his diploma on the wall. It was the University of Alabama, though. Roll mm. time. So this guy fucking he's butchered the paperwork twice now and 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 i go in there and uh, I, i'm trying to catch him every day we're not allowed to go see these people all willy-nilly i'm wait i have to wait till 3 p.m and like that's when his doors open and it closes at 3 30 p.m and that's it if you miss him you missed him and so i go in there i'm like hey uh did we get that paperwork sorted because you have my address and the address of the person who's going to be picking me up reversed so my probation officer went to inspect someone else's home the other day and they were a little confused by that. And, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, and also you have me being picked up by someone who lives at my home address. And that's not the case. I, 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 and he's like, ah, you know, that's the sort of thing. You know, it's funny. It's it's easier to fix that sort of thing from the outside than on the inside. And I'm thinking like. I'm getting that feeling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What he means is, I don't want to spend any more time on your paperwork. So just figure it out when, when you leave. And I'm thinking like, well, if you say so, you know, I, I mean, I as long so. as I, if you say so, I, I'll call them when I get out. You know, that, that I got the guys, I got the PO's number. Call them when I get out. Well, I guess the probation officer gets wind, wind of this. And so like the, his boss, his boss calls this guy and bitches him out. And so he calls me back to his office like a week later and he's like mad at me seemingly. He's like, well, they want it done a certain way. <laughs> and I'm like, you mean the right way? They want it done accurately? Bizarre. Isn't this your job? Isn't this like all you do? Like, 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 and, and he's like, so he does all the paperwork again. Keep in mind, he's literally copying from a piece of paper into a, like one of those computer programs that has like, slots to insert information like mm -hmm. oh name da -da -da -da, address da -da 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 -da. he's just filling out a, a, a form on a on a computer and then he clicks print and he hands it to me and i go no <laughs> 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 no you see this is misspelled um and it's my address which i think you know we probably want to get right here you go and he goes ah oh, shit brr, 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 does it again print hands it back to me i'm like you know, I hate to be a stickler, but uh, <laughs> the number has to is, be exactly right on an address. But this isn't the county I live in, nor is my nor is my name, Mister Mayor. So yeah. my name is not Yikely Imers. Yeah, he goes. <laughs> he goes. Oh, all right. <laughs> like psychs himself up, <laughs> like he's about to kick a field goal or something. <sighs> And hands it back to me. And I stared at that piece of paper that literally just has my name, my address, and my fucking nine-digit number on it for a good two solid minutes before I'm like, you got it. You got it. You got it. And I sign off on it. He signs off on it. And everything finally worked out. But when I get to my, my senior probation officer, he's like, what What was going on in there with that <laughs> paperwork? We've, we've never seen anything like it. And I'm like, well, he's, he has dyslexia. He's like, no, no, that's funny, but... But really, I was like, the man has dyslexia. I'd like, I'd like to report him if that's possible. You should really look into it. He, he, he can't read well. Like, like he's inverting letters. Like, like it's, it's basic spelling, and he can't copy from, from copy. He goes, 
fuck. <laughs> he, receives a, he receives a complaint and he's like, ah, a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> they love me. <laughs> oh, man. It was scary because, like, like Leonardo you know, da Vinci of prison paperwork stewards. Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how that shit worked. Like, like in my head, I'm like, are they going to let me go on October third? Well, you know, it says they released me on the third, but what if my paperwork's wrong? Yeah, and, and somebody else told me they were probably just fucking with me. They were like, oh yeah, you got to get medically cleared to leave. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your name is not Kylie, correct? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. By Georgia rules, you must repeat your entire sentence. <laughs> <laughs> this Kylie feller has served too much, but you, Mr. Kyle, yeah. <laughs> not a day in our system. Wait, you've been out of prison two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for what? <laughs> uh, possession of marijuana, yeah. That, that two months is what that gets you? In federal prison, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a good yeah. time. That's cool kid prison. Yes, yeah, it really is. If you have a choice, you, you want to go with the, the federal prison system. Is that uh, I can't tell if you're goofing because the office no, space no. made it seem like federal is not the good one. Federal is the good one. It absolutely is. Okay. Uh, it, it definitely is because state prisons, um, from what I was told by prisoners, like 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 federal prison has like their low really means low. Their camp really means it's it's more of a camp, and their max is really fucking max but in state prison depending on funding like maybe ah throw them in the medium you know like like, like the levels aren't as as defined as well like, like like their low might be pretty fucking rough they mix them maybe too much instead of getting i'm not an expert but that, that that's definitely my understanding of the scenario um uh, that that the state prison like like uh, even when i was in county jail they were like oh yeah i knew a guy that got killed in a state prison i'm like what why <laughs> Stole potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good tip for you guys listening out there. Commit federal crimes. Federal crimes, boys. Yeah. Always federal crimes. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't go oh, home. Do it. Do it right. <laughs> go, 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 go big or yeah, don't go. Home. Go big and don't go home. Positions a 